we've got valuable gems or potential disaster. These are five possibly black opals from Lambina. Very unique, very rare, but also very difficult. Each one different. Be around to the end to see the results. And they are surprising. Okay, so what we've got here is between two and four carats of Lambina opal. And some of them have this black inside, which looks like the color is touching it. This is one of the bigger ones, 4.2 carats. So I'm going to go and expose and see if we can make little, um, most likely ring stones, and they will work out to be pointers. We may get a couple of carat stones out of them, and I'm hoping they are black because the value of black opal is insane per carat. And uh, this one, for example, I'm looking and hoping that that sand just cleans up and makes a beautiful dark crystal um, opal. This one is the most interesting to me because the brightness. And some suggested, and I'm agreeing with it, um, that it's a wood fossil or... Uh, some part of the tree trunk or something like that with colors. So we're probably not going to get a clean black opal here, but some very, very interesting um, piece. And look at that brightness. This It's insane. It's probably, I see how we go on the machine, but probably uh, try to keep it as natural as possible and just get the sand off my need a Dremel and just make something very unique and spectacular. And then we've got this one, which is if you see other Lambina stones, and a lot of them are crystal, um, uh, they work out to be, you know, like dark, white crystal bits. But then at occasions you get this, you get into the rough rock and you get this blackness. And see, there is a green touching it, and it's probably just on this side. So we're going to try to face it. Mind you, there's red going in there as well. So I have some hopes on making little gems here. And in this video, this is what we're going to do, and you're going to see me do it. And let's see what we end up with. Let's go on the machine. Okay, so this is the first one. What appears to be, well... The plan for it is the easiest. Take that scent from the top, see what's underneath there. But you can see that um, sort of red Australian earth, which in this case is not an advantage. There is this sandy spot slight and that red um, all over the stone. And that, those crystal greens on the on, you know, on the on the dark, looks spectacular, but will it clean up? So I'm just bringing it in here a little bit, um, just to have a look on that side bar if there is any color. And there's definitely brightness on on there. Now I'm gonna make the stones on the 600. See, there is color all through it, but it's almost it's not clean. The stone is, it almost looks more like there is a matrix part of it um, with that um, red earth and the and the sandy bits. Whoops. Um, and the sand comes off and I get color, as you can see, but it's not as bright as I thought. And, and that sidebar there, okay. See, it's beautiful, isn't it, on that dark color? Yeah, that's not bad, but I can see it's that sand, because that crystal on top shows the sandy bits down below, which uh, gets the color a little bit um, dull and subdued. So I'm just looking on the other side if there is a color, because there's a color throughout the whole stone, and those side bars you saw, it's, it's bright green all over, but it's not a clean stone, so it, it, it's gonna be more like a 
picture stone. Can you see? You can see the sand below. So, all right, well, that's not working out the best way. So I'm gonna grab a second one. And that's the black eye Lambina. But look at that shape. It's a little bit crazy. And see, the thing with Lambina is it, it's not an easy opal to cut from a perspective of color. It's, it's from my experience, I love the opal because of the colors and the uniqueness of it and the fact that it's pretty scarce. And, um, you know, the mining is not going on there anymore. And that, and it's one of the few fields that you can get truly, truly black opal. But it's even rarer than lightning reach black opal. And that's, you, you guys know how hard that is to get truly black. So to get that, if you're lucky enough to have some black opal from Ambina, I mean, that is a great one to keep for investment and such a historical rare gem. So with this one well as you can see that black see it's got that creamy white look on top and the black down below and a lot of the color is actually on that white cloud and it's you know once you start exposing it going towards the black um you know that color touching the black uh, it's almost like winning lotto with this kind of opal but i have got that before so um, it is possible and these stones are very little as well so I'm on the 600 because there is like you know you can touch the wheel a few times and the stone is gone so I've got to be pretty careful here well, so I'm just trying to look if I can get any color on that black before I go in and keeping that dome going but as you can see there is there is color underneath there so maybe we get to it there's also color below but look at all that sand this is why I went from the other side because this sand is deep and um, yeah we're gonna have to bring it in and expose that black black pot here and see what we get all right yeah well at least we're shaping it okay but um i would love to get a black opal here be amazing um these lambinas you know they they come from the big parcels of lambinas small stones and i've got some on my website still most of them are beautiful crystals some of them they are difficult to face so you really need to take your time with it but once they face they're beautiful so they haven't been too pricey they didn't cost me you know a lot um you know we're talking you know 10 20 dollars a carat of the stones and um yeah there is quite a bit of sand there as you can see there's a black in the middle underneath but there's no color on it so the color is sort of all through the sides um, and from the bottom there's just too much sand look at that beautiful color but that cloud and the black it's um, I am really not sure we're gonna get anything out of this little one and I'm being so you know I'm starting this awful saying okay what are we gonna do well we've got a bit of thickness it's not a big stone we started with about four carrots on that one um, it's probably down to about two now so we've lost half already and I just want to you know see maybe maybe the bottom because the bottom shows more color but unfortunately not in the middle where the black is and it's got that big blob of sand you know if that was clean up maybe there's a color there but most of the color is on that white cloud not on the black hmm I don't know the sand it's just frustrating isn't it you saw wanna get a beautiful gem out of it beautiful nice high dome ring stone on the black it just made my day but 
it's looking less and less likely of that happening. Okay, so I'm gonna speed it up here and clean it up and let's see what we've got at the end. So this one is a dud, guys. All the color on the white, once it's gone to the black, there's nothing on it. And the other side, sands eaten it away. So, gone, neck. All right, so next is this one, which looks like it's got a color sitting on the black there, and also nice color on the creamy white, but that black is only a bead of the stone, and it's got that green. So, let's, yeah, expose this and see if that bar hits the black and how much of it is actually gonna and you 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 going to hit the black it's you can see i've done um a little bit on top and saw that color so now i'm just gonna bring it in into a a, a round shape and see if we can see the color bar all around the stone and you can see the black is just part of it it's like a black and white opal it's, it's very interesting i love you know that's the thing i love about opal what actually gets me the most excited it's not the perfection when you get this perfect beautiful you know kai dom cabochon black or crystal opal with uh the brightest of colors and, and stunning patterns i love that but to get this, I'm like a kid, you know, like, look at that. So it's got that color on the black and it's got the white. And I just like the nature's unique way of showing the beauty. And some of these opals, you know, like, I don't think many people would um, hold this type of opals in their hands. So it's very, very unique. I get very excited about it. It might not have the value. Um, as as you know like perfect black opal with thousands and tens of thousands per carat ridiculous prices yes of course we in it you know if you, this is your livelihood and this is how wow look at that that color and then nothing on the the white um oh it's interesting very very interesting uh ah, eating again always that finger is the finger always gets scraped on the edge of the wood Anyway, um, yeah, you make a living out of this. You know, you're putting food in, on the table and roof over your head. You, you, of course, you need to make money. And of course, you need to sell the opal. You need to make the product and, you know, be fair and have a good reputation and be honest and, um, you know, look after your customers and clients and make those opals that make money. Yes, but the key... The heart, the heartfelt part of me, of as a human, is about like the kids play. It's not related to the money. It's not related to anything. Um, it, apart from the, the pure joy of having something. Wow, you know, I've never seen anything like this. This is new. Look at that, black and white opal in one. That's crazy. It's only Lambina. You can, you can make this up. So. I almost don't want to do anything more with it, but yeah, the kid, the kid does, the kid wants to go and, and try to see what else is in there, you know, like, let's make it around, let's, let's see what else is in there, what, is that sitting on the black, you know, like, it's just so crazy, this opal, um, and, you know, I'm not taking it for granted. I mean, this is so hard to find, to have this kind of opal. I mean, that is a beautiful looking opal and it's probably close to, you know, finish, to close to the, the, putting it on the dop stick and have that. That is cool, man. And it, it, this cool pieces, when I find something I've never seen before, I actually keep it. And I, I keep it in my uh, orphan pile of unique opals. And um, this has gone up, probably end up being one of those because I have not 
seen one with that color and this kind of unique um, combination of potch and color so all right well i think we are about to be done with this one sorry about the blood and we're just gonna put it on the dop stick and finish it off just flatten the back and uh yeah let's do that actually and yeah we we just flatten the back here um and ready for the dop stick cool all right oh no look at that no there is a crack right through the middle of it that's right in there ah oh, that is just disappointing going from the bottom I just saw it it's almost like the white and the black can you see it and it's huge and it's going right through the middle of the opal ah oh, just and this is what happens yeah that's where the crack was became two little ones how disappointing is that? I am devastated with this. Uh, nothing I can do about it. This is Opal for you. Heartbroken. Because that was such a cool piece. Now we've got, you know, less than a carrot of two little pieces. And that's combined. So, well, another dud. This is not working to be a great day. But that's what you got. Sometimes all right next very disappointing look at that bar in that one that's mostly crystal there is darkness in there a bit of blackness inside again that little you know part of porch that's that i like i like to call it the black eye and uh you know many months ago i did another cut with those before um and you can see that video here i put a link in here so you can go and check it out if you wish but um, that right sidebar with Lambina can actually be very deceiving and that black inside is it may not have any color um, and so look I'm gonna speed it up you can see it coming it's, it's coming i speed it up and see what we get right, so this one was one of the bigger ones and you can see that black eye inside and this is what happens it's the the color is still nice but it's very directional and it's it's see the bar on the side it just doesn't show up on top with all that saturation of color still pretty unique opal um, and that's how it looks faced and it'd be maybe a carrot and a half of uh, an oval shape all right so this is what i'm the most excited about not because i think it's gonna make a clean opal but i think it's gonna make it one of the most unique looking things i've ever seen because the colors are so different to anything i've seen so bright and it's most likely to be uh like a wood fossil pile of the tree or something um or to tree root but um look at that i just took that sandy bit out and oh look at this color i mean yeah it's it, it's just nuts wow let me know in the comments do you like this kind of thing but that definitely will stay with me because it's there's no way i'm parting with that i have not seen like the pink that sort of electric green it almost looks like fake uh, there's a little bit of sand in there still that I want to clean up but see to me this opal not gonna be value as much as clean crystal or black opal or even you know um, white opal with a good color but to me this is the one worth keeping because 
naturally so unique. So, so, so unique. Brilliant. I love it. That kind of made up for the, the day, I suppose. So I'm just going to expose this, keep working on it, and then let's just have a look what we ended up with. Not a great day, but let's just have a look. Yeah, so not the result we wanted. That's the broken beat, the black and white one. That's 0.2 of a carrot, this little one. And that is 0.5. I don't think I will bother making anything out of this. This bit of color. I don't know. that would be useful for something. Maybe some vials, chips. I don't know. Anyway, you can hear in my voice not great. Then we've got this black thing that's really just became a picture stone because that black pouch never had any color on it. Uh, and the sand here just goes just about all the way through. So not a very good one. I'll maybe bring it in, but also not much value here. That's also 0.8. So not much at all. Not the result we wanted. Now this one which is very interesting. It's got nice color, but you can see it's got sand. It's got inclusions with that sand, more of a picture stone as well. So it's never cleaned up to anything. And if, it, if I keep going in, it just takes the color away and the sand is showing up more and more. So very interesting. Something, some fun, but not much value of 0.8 of a carrot again, so another point I is expected. Now we've got those two. Now that's a bit more exciting. And this one will be finished. I'll make a shape out of that. Probably nice oval, long oval. And just to show that creamy white lambina with that black center, it's directional. It's just gonna shine green. This is the other side that at the moment is two carrots, so that's gonna make nice one and a half carrot oval shape. Not very valuable either because of its lack of colors. Look, it's very interesting this one because it shows you, look how bright it shines from here, right? This is the bar you see from the side when you're buying rough. And this is a very good educational piece that just because you're seeing this crazy colors on the side in just the way it is that a lot of times you don't see the same thing facing and this is one of those things you just see the green there is not much orange and rough it is bright it's unique and it's cool and it's got value and so one and a half carat you know it, it's gonna end up being 150 dollar stone uh somewhere between 100 150 dollars so not much but look at that compared to that. Let me put some water on it. It's, um, yeah, I just like it because I love Opal and I like that black center, you know. Lambina gets that and not really other Opal gets that. So it's different, it's unique. And that's what we've got. And then it is this, which I'm keeping for myself just because I keep what I call the orphans. So, uh, opal that's uh, different. That's not necessarily your standard, you know, clean shaped cabochons. It's just, I love this. And this is some kind of a wood piece or something like that. Um, and with that opalized color, I mean, I have not seen this kind of color. Look at that. So I'm keeping this for me. And that makes this journey of this little Lambina opals, which none of them really worked out black, but it makes it worth it because I can keep that double sided with this unique pattern and still make something for myself out of it. And just keeping it because I've never seen anything like it with this colors and this brightness, it is truly very, very unique to me because of the color i've seen plenty of fossils and wood and everything but this is bright and it's crazy do you like it let me know in the comments to, to see 
what you think of this piece. It's um, it's just one point two carat, but it's cool, man. It is cool. All right. Okay, a few more things, guys. Just uh, firstly, our journey to three and a half thousand still stuck on it. So obviously, the matrix, this beautiful matrix that is on my site, has been placed under. This is dry, so it doesn't show. And including this hat that we've cut on the video, you can see the video here that we are. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, it's it hasn't sold, so we're stuck on three and a half thousand. So my idea is okay. I'm listing. It's not selling, even though it's hundred fifty dollars U USD on Opal auctions and other sites for this quality, if it's even that quality. So I thought. Okay, for whoever is watching this, if you're interested in this, go to my site and if you type in YouTube one, which is the number one at the checkout, you will get whopping 35% off, which it halves the retail price. So there'll be plenty left for your jewelry, for anything and profit making. So hopefully we can move on with the three and a half thousand dollars. And um, it, it is really um, a good price. Now, this, just a teaser. I've got a huge bag of crystal and white Cuba opals and they big stones. So I'm gonna work for the next video. I'm thinking, let me know if, if this is a cool idea. My idea is this is a $3,000 bag of opal, rough opal. How many stones out of it? Well, I have to cut to pay for it. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm also gonna put some of them for sale in a small parcels for you guys to cut. That's pretty affordable. So pretty cool. And that's gonna be coming up. All right. And thank you very much for the support. Um, members, you got a bit of a um, uh, yeah, preview on those black lambinas. Unfortunate results. I have to say, I had a lot more hope for those. Um, didn't get us what we wanted. Bit of a uh, not entirely disaster, but a disaster. It's Opal Journey for you. You guys were letting me know out of the five stones, what do you think? Did, did I do what? You thought, did the Opal do it? Not me, because I just followed the Opal, right? I don't think I could do anything else with them apart from what I did. But if you think I could, let me know in the comments. And please subscribe, like, comment for me, help us out in this channel. And um, I really appreciate everything that um, you've been giving to this channel, your time, your, your thanks, uh, super thanks with the donations as well. So I really helps me uh, create a better content, uh, give more and more, uh, create giveaways, all sorts of things. So community is building, we're still growing, and I really, um, I'm asking for your help and continuous support. And um, on that note, I'll see you on the next one. And thank you.